Hi, boys and girls. It's me, Mrs. Miller, and I wanted to talk with you today about what to do when you feel really strong feelings inside. We know that it's okay to be mad and it's okay to be sad. But we have to figure out what to do when we feel those things. For our activity today, first, you're going to listen to a story. Second, you'll think, did the person in the story make a good choice or a bad choice? And last, you'll show me with your hands. Good choice, bad choice. Let's get started. Somebody got really, really mad and they threw themselves on the ground and started kicking and screaming and smashing their fists on the ground because they were so mad. Do you think that's a good choice? Or do you think that's a bad choice to do when you feel mad? Boys and girls, this is where we push stop and you decide. Was it a good choice? Or a bad choice? Show me with your hands. You're right. That's a bad choice. One day, there was a boy at school who felt so mad when his block tower got knocked over that he pushed his friend. Was that a bad choice to push his friend when he felt mad or was that a good choice? You're right. That's another bad choice. There was a boy that was in line for hot lunch and he was looking so forward to having pizza. And when he got into the lunch line, the lunch lady said, we don't have any more pizza left. I'm sorry, you're going to have to have a hamburger. And that boy felt so mad that he said, I feel mad. Is saying, I feel mad, a good choice? Or is that a bad choice? Mm, this is a tricky one. Saying, I feel mad, is a good choice. It's okay to tell somebody that you feel mad. I was watching a boy and a girl play and I saw the girl reach over and take the boy's favorite truck from him. He looked at her and he went, Rawr! Is growling like a bear when you're mad a good choice or a bad choice? Growling like a bear is a bad choice. I was listening to Mrs. Stifter tell everybody their jobs for the day. And one little girl felt so sad that she was not the line leader. 
And she felt so mad that she was not the line leader. That she took a deep breath. (sighs) Is taking a deep breath when you feel mad, is that a bad choice or a good choice? What do you think? Taking a deep breath when you are mad is a good choice. I was watching two kids build with blocks and they built this beautiful tower and it was so tall and they were so proud. And another little kid came over and he kicked the tower and knocked it to the ground. The boys were so mad. One of them said, I'm so mad. I need to count to four. One, two, three, four. Is counting to four when you're mad a good choice or a bad choice? What do you think? That's right. Counting to four is a good choice. We are going to send you a video of my friend, Daniel the Tiger, singing a song about counting to four when he felt really mad. Remember, it's okay to feel mad or sad. It's okay. We have to figure out how to make good choices when we feel mad or sad. And you help me today figure out some different ways that we could make good choices. So, does anyone remember one thing we can do when we're mad or sad that's a good choice? That's right. Counting to four. Oh, I heard somebody else say, taking a deep breath. Or saying, I feel mad. Those are all good choices when you feel mad. That's all for today. Bye-bye, boys and girls.